that, that he did he provided an invalid driver's license number. That's what I think if I recall the exact uh, Again, th this is a long and winding road of, of deception and, um, and misleading uh, statements um, to, to you know, people in this department and others. What was the athletic department's procedure once you found out that he had given an invalid or an, a forged driver's license to the Colorado dealership? Uh, he never, you know, we, he did not drive a university vehicle. Um, After that? Yeah, that's my understanding, yes. Again, as I started with, you know, um, I think the entire situation is really disappointing to me, um, to the, the, the really solid, good employees that we have in this department that do things right every single day, um, that follow the procedures and protocols. And when an individual um, knowingly uh, acts outside of those and is deceptive um, and is not truthful, that is, is a very serious issue. With all this in mind, all of the things that have happened in the situation over the course of the last year, um, it can be very complicated for the public to, to look at and to think, you know, the question, and I'm wondering if you could provide some sort of an answer to this, is we hired someone and, almost, and then almost a year later fired them for not producing their college transcript, not having the proper educational background. Um, simply how did all this time go by without, uh, without having this kind of action? Well, I think, you know, we, again, that's why we'll look back, we'll step back, and we'll try to uh, collectively see where there were missteps, where there were opportunities for us to have uh, uh, kept this from happening, and we'd make those adjustments. Um, the fact of the matter remains that, that we do have policies and procedures um, that ultimately got us to the point where these things were verified and we were able to take action. Um, I think we can all say we would like those things to happen in a different uh, amount of time, um, but ultimately uh, they did happen, it did occur. Um, you know, there, there are some, again, as I said, there could have been some gaps. Um, it's a multi-level checking system with our campus community, um, and we're working with those partners as well to verify, to help verify those, those critical points. How much onus for the situation do you put on maybe some of the other members of this campus community for what's happened here? I, I don't put any more or less on anyone. Uh, we have procedures and protocols uh, that we all are involved in and we all have responsibility for. Um, and uh, collectively, uh, there are times when those things don't go according to plan. But I'll go back to my, my, my original point. Uh, not only were those in place, but we had someone uh, trying to be deceptive, trying to elude the truth, um, and that that leads to complications. That leads to a lengthier process, um, and uh, you know th those are those are very disappointing when that happens. I want to ask, yeah, uh, and I, perhaps I've asked this again. I want to make sure that you know I was clear on this. The sort of the, the long time frame, you know, and the, the people who work around and didn't see all these, these different, this deception, as, as you called it mm -hmm. for this long. Um, there's a lot of different things this department does, obviously, um, and all kinds of issues arise every day. Would you say that the, the delay in some of this, taking care of this issue, um, has to do with where maybe this specific sport is on the pecking order as far as the department is concerned and the public opinion? Uh, no. I, I think if I'm interpreting your question right, no, uh, it's no different than any sport. Uh, it's no different than any employee issue that we have. Uh, a large complex organization has a number of personnel issues that come forth every day, and uh, you deal with those appropriately and accordingly. Uh, the type of sport, the type of coach, uh, the level of employee um, really makes no difference. Um, it's the protocols, it's the procedures and the rules that are in place that dictate how those situations are dealt with. So I, I think it, if I understand your question. Yeah, right. no, that, that, that so, makes sense. And how much of a lasting impression do you think this has on sort of this program moving forward? Because as you guys search for a new coach here, um, how do you put something like this behind you from a department standpoint? Um, again, I, as I said before, 
I mean, our, our department's filled with 99.9% of group of employees that are outstanding, that live up to our standards, uh, that are part of a championship culture, uh, that know what that means on every level. And um, we, again, um, when, when people um, go rogue, um, we try to deal with that appropriately. This is a great department with great people, great coaches. Um, it's a very attractive position. Uh, we have a wonderful golf program. Um, what I'm most pleased with is the, that the circumstances that came out of this, um, you know, in no way put any student athlete or any other member of our staff or department in jeopardy. Um, and those things uh, are important to me. And we will move forward. We're going to find an outstanding uh, new head coach for a women's golf program. We're excited about launching this program. We're going to have a lot of success in the future. Would you say you're going to be extra careful when it comes to making sure uh, you select the right person? Well, again, uh, we'll look at those policies and procedures and make sure that we've done everything we can to keep this from happening in the future. Um, uh, well, we've already made a change. You know, we, 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 we continue to kind of refine things and make changes that can be you know, And we'll look at that in our uh, in the way we, we check for credentials, which now is a mandatory item on the athletic side that just through, uh, through the application procedure, just to apply, you need to present those credentials. That's a change? That's, that, that is a change implemented by athletics. Um, so those applicants will need to produce that to be considered for, um, you know, for consideration for the position. So you know, I think that's a that's a good step, and uh, again, we'll we'll look at double check points to you know essentially now we have to approach things from a level of distrust um, rather than a level of trust. Again, much of our systems are in place that um, put the onus on the employee or future employee to follow protocol, to follow requests, to um, to be truthful and to be forthcoming, and. Uh, We'll need to change some of those so that we don't get caught by people who try to deceive us.